Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. Today I've got something special for you. This self-returning flying flush wall that uh, yeah, you can also decorate with piston art as you just saw in the intro, uh, with pixel art of course. And in this case it's piston pixel art. And yeah, you can even make it explosion proof when using netherite. And yeah, let's, let's trigger this one more time. So this piston wall here, can actually be used for many different things. Uh, so, El Mango designed a piston wall that can push 12 blocks and uh, has pistons everywhere already two years ago. And uh, actually, uh, this is the uh, SciCraft creative server and it's being used in the um, new um, self-sustaining pre-farm video he showed today or yesterday, depending on when you watch it. And uh, yeah, actually, uh, we've been all tinkering around with this uh, a little bit, and uh, I managed to increase the efficiency of the farm by a lot, but uh, that's going to be in a separate video, because then I also had the idea to try myself um, at making some piston balls, some self-returning ones. And uh, yeah, I wanted to try a different version. This one uh, is flush. It cannot push 12 blocks, but it has uh, enough push capacity to, for example, push jungle trees. So you can make a jungle tree farm with this as well. Let's just demonstrate this really quick uh, and then take a look at how it actually look, uh, works. So just some jungle settlings and uh, bone meal. There, yeah, there, there, there. Come on, so, okay, uh, well, I don't know anymore where I need to place the lever. This looks good. No, actually, it doesn't because uh, the lever over there is overriding the signal because it's turned on. Let's turn it off. And you see it's being pushed as well as the grass below. Yep, so we now got ourselves a nice tree packet. So we could use this for a jungle tree farm, for example, uh, or actually might, there might even be uses for where you can, uh, we are, you have to rely on the fact that this is flush or that it is explosion resistant. But uh, I think I just want to try myself at uh, designing a tree farm uh, with this as well. So uh, how many blocks can it actually push? Well, if you look at behind the blocks here, you can see that it's an alternating pattern. So um, yeah, the uh blocks it can technically push eight like every section of two blocks can push an additional eight blocks uh so it, it's technically four blocks per row but uh, jungle trees for example only have four blocks and if uh, you grow the jungle tree in the middle then since the branches are not full you can actually also like distribute it so that you have six you can push six blocks in the middle and then only two at the sides so uh if you evenly distribute the blocks, uh, it can be four, but uh, it can technically be more if you, as you can see, uh, if you um, distribute them unevenly. Yeah, so this this kind of nice. And let's go to spectator mode. So how does this actually work? Um, well, we have this self-returning flying machine here, and they are four blocks high, and I, I managed to uh, find an alignment of blocks where they are stacked in a checkerboard pattern and each has a separate flying machine and they are all independent of each other and then the question is just how to launch them uh, the, there's a slight problem that the sections here crash into each other because there's no way to put uh, obsidian such that the second segment actually ha has a distance of a block but you can just fix it by powering the second segment first before powering the actual flying machine when launching this that's why there are these uh, obsidian redstone dots coming to this. And yeah, actually it's it's, uh, it's rather simple to look at, but it took me many iterations until I find this uh, working configuration. And then you also might wonder how does it actually return? So um, this setup cannot be infinitely wide because what I'm using is uh, the fact that you can just uh, move these rows of pistons here horizontally and while they are being moved they are they can't be pushed further outwards so this machine will automatically return when it hits a solid obsidian ball uh, however however uh, obviously 
uh, we want to push something so it doesn't make sense to put an obsidian ball in front there and uh, you have to stop each segment individually so there has to be obsidian pretty much every second block and in order to fix that i just thought of um well just triggering a bunch of pistons at the right moment so that the whole uh, pixel art gets moved sideways and the machine can't push any further so it basically detects a wall and then uh, you push it back into the original spot and return so let's actually try this one more time oh, there are some random leg spikes here on the sidecraft server i don't know where they're coming from yeah it's it's coming and you might be able to see that it shifts a side race and then shifts back. Now to the left and to the right again. It was really quick. And yeah, that's what's stopping the machine. And yeah, it works very well. But obviously, you can only ever make it 12 blocks wide or uh, 12 blocks high, uh, depending on if you want to have additional uh, netherite uh, explosion proofness. This one is only 10 blocks wide. If I remove these blocks and just use normal pistons, I could make it tw uh, two blocks wider. Yeah, so um, I'm going to include a Lightmatica download in the description if you want to tinker around with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about it. And yeah, more stuff is going to follow soon. And see you in the next video. Have fun and enjoy Minecrafting and playing. Goodbye.